Hey you right guys, True Punch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 12 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 3. Last episode was okay, we just kind of had Joyce being the annoying mum again. I know she was possessed, but she still just kind of bothers me, Joyce does. Uh, definitely, I'd say, the weakest character out of the main cast. The more I think about it, I just I just can't with Joyce. <laughs> uh, but yeah, after this episode, we are halfway through Season 3. I'm aiming to finish Season 3 by the end of 2019, so we'll see if that happens, hopefully. Uh, and then we'll can, you know, get into the rest of the season, of course, which is still going to take all of 2020. If we get Buffy done by 2020, that would be mad. But uh, yeah, I'm so excited to see what happens this episode. So if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. If you want uncut and early reactions to Buffy, then link to the Patreon page would, of course, be down below. But for now, my friends, let's do it. Yo, that looks well not. Okay, never mind. They training, they training. I wouldn't be treating her if that food was next to me, I'm not gonna lie, so. Kids, we're not having satisfaction in the. Oh, come on, you're both sweaty. You've basically got no clothes on anyway. Yeah. Why the fuck not? Great. Birthday. Um. Oh, actually, yeah, birthday. But... Very handsome. Likes it when I call him daddy. Yo! Your father. It is your father, right? He's taking me to the edge. Oh. It should be big Mad. <laughs> Great. Buffy, full on kinky, you know she is. <laughs> Rolled him down a slide. Wait, what's going on? Yo! The f I've said this a million times, but the fires are brutal. No! See, the he should have just killed her in like. Why do they run and jump onto the stakes? What do you think's gonna happen? You Vampires have no brain cells. Oh, I could kill her right now, but I'm gonna not. <laughs> I'd get if it was like a human and they want to play with their food. But if it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you don't play with that. I'm gone. Yup, see ya. Ice is cool. Ice is cool. Yeah. I think it's... Ah, Joyce, my favorite character. Let me tell you how you're a shit daughter. Present. I was just thinking it might be nice to have a, a quiet birthday. No! <laughs> Whenever Buff is sad, I just want to die. Is that Sir Alan Sugar? What is going Very close. on? Daughters or their student. Giles, take Love Buffy. It's kind of weird. Buffy, I think we should a teacher taking a student to, to ice skating, but it's Giles. Come on. What is this? Giles, just chill. Is Giles evil? As we should um... call it a night. This is getting yeah, creepy now. That's a good idea. Giles, what shady shit you up to? She runs around her nose, wiggles around. Yeah, I meant, how's it going changing her back into a human being? Oh, still. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's actually but a good thing. You made me look like some kind of dork in front of my posse. Yo, yeah, let's well, KO this guy. Posse? I'm not through here. Oh, I beg to differ. Oh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Yo, what is happening? What's wrong with you? It's because she's losing her powers. I'm and Giles has asked something to do with it. It's a time honored right of passage. What? Exercise in cruelty. He's not possessed or anything, he's Knock doing this. A confidence derived from self reliance. This is all part of the watchers doing this. What the fuck? What was that? Take care of it. What, the f what is going on? So it's a vampire. What the fuck? Buffy's gonna have to fight him without her powers. What does that prove? Wrong. The gold kryptonite's power sucker. The red kryptonite's <laughs> Superman. Great. Sort of weird. Just to be. She'll get back. I'm End of the episode. This is a two-parter. <laughs> He's tearing out of it. Who can get out that easy? Gonna die. Gonna die. Here. You're dead. Can't see, can't You're being played. Can't you idiot! Oh, well done. You've been wrecked. Everything's okay now. <laughs> this vampire's sick. That's how it's done. 
Let's say a certain person who will remain nameless. We'll just call her Spordelia. Spordelia. Yeah. Angel, if I'm not the same. Angel's got a sick place here. What do I do? What do I have to offer? I saw you before you became a slayer. Ooh, that one's out there, though. It was a bright afternoon out in front of your school. I remember that scene. You yeah, actually showed street. that scene as well. GG. It's beautiful. Words of wisdom. It just turned into a vampire. What was the point of this then? You just say. So... I mean, it's a vampire with a personality, which is nice, but. Oh dear. The music's really good this episode. The music's so good, I love it. Listen to that. Oh, it's like the best music I've had in a Buffy episode. Oh, great, so these guys are gonna be a knobheads. How much for a lap dance for me and my buddy? Just kill him. I mean, you don't. Oh, now they just can't know what the fuck this bullshit, man. It's so weird seeing Buffy running away. What the fuck? You can't. You know you're a shit vampire when even when she's not the Slayer, you can't. Get her or anything like that. <laughs> uh. Yo, that guy had the most dramatic role I've ever seen. Chill out, mate. You weren't even going fast. It's an organic compound. Oh, God. Of muscle relaxants. Giles, what have you done? Adrenal suppressors. What was the point in it? It didn't do anything. Well,. It took away powers, but it's a test, Buffy. A test? Some bullshit test. It's given to the Slayer once she, <clears throat> if she reaches her eighteenth birthday. Vampire foe whom she must defeat in order to pass the test. And he was going to do this? Is that a joke? Criminally insane. Mad. When a vamp. <laughs> Probably should have hit him on the end of that. Is... Was very specific. Uh... I was to administer the injection. All right, Giles. To the old boarding house and press. Who are you? Mad. Giles How is. Can you do this to Giles me? is going to be like down sorry, here I for a while now. I'm with Buffy all the way. Fuck this. Listen to me. This is the first on? time these two have been like at this distant apart. Oh God, is the world ending? Did something take her memory? He's Giles. Oh, Cordelia. Giles. He hangs out here a lot. Oh, listen to it! It's, it's pitch perfect. <laughs> Rolling up. Mother. God. I like it. He's a good vampire. He's got, like I said, personality. Mad. <laughs> Jesus. She's gonna have to do it without, like, her strength. She can't even carry the bag. Oh, all that detail. I have a problem with mothers. I'm aware of that. <laughs> He's good. He's good. Listen! Listen, listen. He's not gonna do it now. That is sick. That is sick. That is so good. I can't. The music's so good. Oh. I just kind of love this. What, yeah, what was the point in the brick wall? Is what... Oh dear. I'm so glad they've done this, because it makes it more like horror. They've gone like a horror vibe with it, because Buffy can't really defend herself with like the super strength, so they've, they've taken all that potential and used it to make it... Because usually when she fights vampires, it's just like this cheesy... I love it, but it's like this cheesy fight that they do. Perfectly controlled test. But that was just like rather impressively so accurate. much different. I love it. I'll just camp in a corner, like one call do it. I mean, rag the rims off as well. Ruined trash. Yo, you got okay. Cool. <laughs> Bludgeon him to death. 
Oh, dude. Oh, I love it. Oh, is he in there? Is he still in there, maybe? Or his mum's in there? Her mum's in there. No, he's in there. Um. Oh, she's shaking, dude. Nah. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? This guy's freaky. <laughs> <laughs> He's sick. He's better than the main villain from season one. The second half of this episode is a 10 out of 10, easily. A violin, oh my god. Oh, keep this up, I beg. Come on. We got this. We got this episode. Yo! Blood in the face. What? Rip his arm out of it. It's like a slasher film in a way. Look, even just the camera movements by coming down the halls and stuff. Oh my god, are these like photos of his victims? I think they were, they were Polaroid. Yo, I love it. <laughs> That's fucked. Unless they're all of her mom. Oh, they're actually all of her mom. Yeah, this, this even with the music, it's straight up slasher this. Wait, what? Why is he getting wrecked? Oh, his pills, his pills. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, she dolphin dived through there. Oh my god, bludgeon the door down. Wait, what did she, did she do something? Do you have any idea? She put, she changed the pills around. Oh my. Oh my. What have you Holy thing. Holy water. That's the one. <laughs> it's burning from the inside. Oh my god. If I was at full slayer power, I'd be punning right about now. Yup. Dab Buffy, dab. Absolutely ruined. I love that as well. She didn't have any stakes or anything. She actually had to use her, her brain to sort that one out. <laughs> Giles is just here. Congratulations, you passed. You passed. You think the test was unfair? I think you better leave town before I get my strength. <laughs> yeah, I would, mate. That you be relieved of your duties as watcher immediately. Mad. You're fired. What? What the fuck? You have a father's love for the child. Jesus. That is useless to the cause. It would be best if you had no further contact with the slayer. Dude, what? Not going anywhere. He's been fired as the watcher. Again. Yeah, thanks, mate. Colorful girl. Well, I mean, you did try to get killed. It was a bit funny. I don't see what that proves, though. I don't see why they need to test at 18. It's a little bit dumb, or whatever. I mean, for a sick episode. <laughs> oh, and the fact that he said, like, you have, like, a father co connection with the kind of thing. And the fact that like, her, her dad didn't even come to her birthday, like, at the start of the episode. Oh, the Giles and Buffy scenes are some of the best. Easy. The important thing is that I yeah, the only difference, really, is that we're going to have a new watcher. <sighs> Just feel better when I get my strength back. Give you a hand with that, little lady? Sander. <laughs> You're loving this far too much. Admit it, sometimes you just need a big, strong man. Are you true? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. I will. Give me a hand with that. <laughs> Couldn't have had worse timing there, Sander. Just being cringe. There we go, guys. That is episode 12 of Buffy season 3. I was about to say 5 for some reason. Season 3. Yo, that episode, one of the Made one of the best of season three and one of the best of the entire show. There's something about that episode that just worked so well. And this only has an 80% on tracked. Like, spoiler, spoiler alert for my rating, but I'm going to give it a 10. Oh, I don't know, just this episode worked so well for me. I wasn't sure, not that the first half was bad, but the first half I was kind of wondering where it was really going. But you need that kind of build-up with episodes like this. You need the build-up. What really worked is... 
the vampire like that they used because if that vampire was annoying or was a shit vampire the episode wouldn't have worked at all uh but he was really good like i said he had an actual personality like none of, none of the vampires really do obviously you have like angel and spike the obvious ones that obviously have a personality but when they're adding it in these like these villain of the week and this was kind of a villain of the week he was but he was like an end to the means of what the story was which wasn't a villain of the week story because it built on Giles and Buffy and showed what Buffy's like without her powers. And while she was kind of, you know, running away a lot of the time and being thrown into walls, it showed that she can still wreck vampires just by using her brains instead of, you know, spikes and all that stuff, which we, which is great at, but it was nice to see that what happens when she can't do that. So that so the vampire worked really well. Um, he had, the, I don't know, obviously I don't know the actor who played him, who's had makeup on <laughs> the entire time but he was really good and he played he played that role or uh, amazingly so that aside as well so the Giles, the Giles and Buffy bond I like that it was the first time they they've had like disagreements and stuff before obviously but this is the first time they felt like Buffy was actually hurt by some of that he'd done and that scene where she was like I don't even know you anymore I was like oh <laughs> it's hard that so it seems like they were on a men, men's kind of at the end when he got fired and I love the, also the bit where the guy was kind of like, you, you're too close to him, you're, you're more like a father to her at this point. Which is sad that he got fired, but it's also adorable at the same time that he kind of, you, you know it's true and it's the first time it's been kind of set out into the open, I guess. So that was really well done, and then it goes to, goes to heal her. And what just bore this entire episode to being a 10 out of 10 for me, because I'd say like, the, the story and the villain and that stuff between Giles and Buffy was really good and probably makes it like an 8.5, 8.8 kind of rating. But what for me just boosts it up for that 10 is how all out they went with the kind of slasher vibes of it. Like with her just running through this house, um, you do, the camera movements of following her down the halls, like just bits where she'd walk into the room and there were Polaroids everywhere of her mum. Like he just put them up. He didn't know Buffy was going to go in that room, but he just put them up. Like and that's what I love, loved about the villain is he had that personality about him. He, like he took all these Polaroids and put them up on the walls for himself. <laughs> like, that is so good. Um, I kind of wish he stuck around a bit longer instead of him just being that one episode thing. Because he's one of the best villains I've had in the, in this show. Spe especially for like the one episode villains. He's one of the best. Definitely, definitely top five, maybe top three. So yeah, just her kind of running through the house and I'm like the cut on her. And her mum kind of trapped down in the basement. Kind of reminded me very much of Psycho in, in a little way. And just adding it again, like, say all that stuff that I just mentioned, boost it to a 9.5, let's say. What gives it that extra thing was the music. The music was genuinely the best Buffy has ever been. As I said in the reaction, it felt like it went from this kind of action cheese teen drama, which is wonderful, and I love that about the show. Trust me, I do not care about that with the show. It's the best part about it. But it turned into this kind of horror slasher film where she had to run away and she had to kind of... Even bits where she was just trying to the, with the with the crossbow where she shot the bolt and missed completely because her aim was just way off and she had to like run around and use resources to kind of take down these vampires. I loved it. So yeah, the first half I felt was a kind of eight out of ten, and then the second half was a ten out of ten. But the second half was so so good that for me it just boosted the entire episode over to a ten out of ten. Um, this was I think that's the highest rating I've given a season three episode. I think that's the highest rating I've given an episode since the season two finale. So, best episode of season three so far, and this is and season three has had some solid episodes, <laughs> some solid episodes. Episode three, episode six, episode eight, episode nine, the wish. So you know you've had some really solid episodes here, and it surprises me that that one only has an eighty percent on track. Like, high ratings, The Wish has 84, and Lover's Walk has 82, Band Candy 81. Like, I, those ratings are great, and I agree with those, but for me, I'd say Helpless, episode 12, is 100 for me. So, yeah. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching, though. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what this episode down below in the comments. I'm definitely interested to hear your thoughts on this one. And, yeah, if you want uncut early reactions, then link to the Buffy, uh, the Buffy, the Patreon page will be down below. All social media stuff as well if you want to check out any of that. And I'll see you next time for episode 13, halfway through season 3. So yeah, until then, peace.